Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, which is probably what I'm saying there, um, which I'm just voicing over, because my video didn't save properly, and to put it all together, it'll just make it too long. But this was Dave's birthday, and we were driving, we were going to go out to York for a bit of a drive, but there'd been an accident on the um, A64, so we didn't bother, we ended up going to Nando's, which I'm going to show you in a minute, and we went and played pool and stuff like that, and had an hour it's currently the end of the week now and I'm about ready to have a baby and I'm very, very nervous <laughs> and feeling a little bit all over the place but I wanted to do the video still for you. I don't think I'm going to get a chance to film yet again the hospital bag one. If I can then I will. I might even do it end of this actually and just empty it all out of <laughs> what I've got. But yeah, I'm just nervous. At the same time, I wanted to show you a little bit of this week and what we've been up to and stuff. So I'll leave you with a little bit of Dave's birthday, a little bit of me looking around shops, and then I'll come back on and talk to you. <laughs> you can't walk properly, can you? You can't even come into next to me. It was massive. I don't know where you put it. You've been watching too many beard meets food. Right, see you in a bit. So it's a few days later and I'm in Matalan with Ryan getting his prom suit. But I thought I'd show you a little bit of footage of some of the baby clothes that they've got. Because they are gorgeous. I didn't buy any of this but it was so tempting. But obviously the focus really were on Ryan and getting him sorted out. And I do feel absolutely, well, I don't know how to put it. I feel so upset that I'm not going to probably be at home on the night of his prom. The situation's changing quite fast with my pregnancy. And yeah, it looks like baby girl's going to be here quite soon. So it's doubtful I'm going to be at home. And I feel absolutely good about it. He thinks it's funny. He thinks it's hilarious. He's just like, mum, you've been pathetic. <laughs> it's just like a night out with my mates sort of thing. It's not a massive deal, but... I just really wanted to be at home to take the pictures and to have pictures with him and stuff on his prom night. Pardon me if you can hear my kids in the background as well. I've got Daniel carrying on. It's quite late at night. They should be going to bed, but they've been out in bloody garden, and they're now they're playing with cards and probably half laying into each other downstairs. Lucas keeps screaming. <laughs> Dave's with him. He's not on his own. Um, but yeah, I'm just never going to get a chance to do his voiceover if I don't just go for it now. So just forgive any background noise, but you know, they live here, so what can I do? But yeah, you can see there's just really cute bits in there, really gorgeous. I was so tempted by so many of them, but I didn't, I didn't, I resisted, I did well, but I did get, you've just seen clip before, I did go into next, and did buy the baby some baby grows. But yeah, I'm just really nervous about, about it all. I have had an examination today, which is TMI, I know, but I wanted one, I was like, you need to tell me if I'm favourable for what you're about to do to me, and I'm not. So I, I'm not favourable, um, my cervix is completely closed, so they're all about shoving some rods up there or something. <laughs> like you are. 
But um, this is what's going to be happening, and I'm going to try and film bits of it. But obviously, I'm going to be on my own when oh. I go in because Dave's got the kids. My sister is going to come and help out though, and my mum and dad will as well. Um, but just because it could be days that I'm in there that I just think it's better I go in on my own at first. I did get Lucas that set, that little sleeveless set, and that's Ryan Sue. He's going to look so handsome. Don't know why my voice went like that then. <laughs> but yeah, it's another day and I'm in Primark. Um, I did actually just run into a year in York. Uh, I think it's for the next day, I can't remember. I went in to get some bits from the hospital bag, which I do do a little mini haul, so I might keep that in to show you. I didn't get too much, but look at them cowboy boots. Have you seen them? There were loads of people looking at them. Of course, there's a picture of the bump. Probably one of the last ones you're going to see now. And they do school clothes in Primark. I never knew that. I didn't know they were doing school stuff in there. But yeah, they had quite a fair bit in the one at York. Right, anyway, I've got on my bed, which has just got a sheet on it because my quilt's on the floor because I've washed my quilt cover and it's online. <laughs> um, we slept in just a sheet last night and didn't temperature drop and Dave were wrapped up like a little sausage roll and I were freezing. He said, well, you had baby to keep you warm. I says, Dave, that's not on. <laughs> um... I got a towel for Lucas, or for the baby, or for any of the kids. It was reduced to £3 from 5 and I just thought, oh, well, I always need towels, so I grabbed that. I also got a phone charger, which is actually in the car, because my phone was flat, and then you had the doctors ringing me. So that was £2. I got... Ryan and Daniel really need some shorts, so I got them these. So I nearly paid £12 a pair, because I thought that that's all they had, but then I found these for £6 a pair. I mean, they do have them all like, you know, the maked ones and stuff, but I thought for six quid just for now, they were, yeah, six pounds. So I've got a large and a medium, I think, for boys. I also got Ryan, just a plain t-shirt for four pound, just in this blue colour, because he just, you know, it's just a t-shirt just to put on, in it? I've seen this for Lucas, <laughs> and it were reduced. How cute. It's finger Stacey Solomon, isn't it, that? It's like a onesie, like, you know, with short bottoms. With little oranges on <laughs> look so cute and this were reduced from this were reduced from nine pound to three pound so i grabbed that i also got some hair bobbles just like the scrunchy sort of ones i found these uh brat things were all reduced as well so i got this mirror for caitlin for a school bag and that were only a pound uh she'll probably take that on days when she does swimming and stuff i got the boys some socks for school I have loads of socks, I have loads of odd socks, I have even more odd socks and paired socks, but I just got these just to make life easier because if I go in tomorrow and Dave's like, where's that socks? He's just got these. <laughs> um, I got some undies for me, I just got these ones, I've got loads packed, but I just thought I need plenty and these ones you can just throw away, can't you? Um, what else did I get? Oh yeah, I got this. So I got a nightie for hospital, it's just like your... You know that type it were eight pound i've got two xl in it nice and roomy hopefully anyway <laughs> it's just like a lightweight cotton night you just to have on under my dressing gown and it'll be like easy for breastfeeding and stuff so i've got that i got caitlin some more trainer socks these are three pound fifty because i just don't know what happens to them honestly they just go missing all the time they never come back out at wash to them <laughs> so i've got them and then while i've got my bump i did buy it like a you know stick it to your dress it were eight quid i don't think i'll wear it after i've had baby because you'll have all bumps in the wrong places won't I? but i'll probably wear it tomorrow or next day and what however long i'm pregnant for <laughs> i'm just big to get wear out of it it's just like a long dress um i'll try to take a bump shot in it and put it on instagram but yeah for eight quid i've got that it'll no doubt go really bobbly anyway because i had a different sort of dress in this and it went really bobbly it's got little arms on it probably not doing best job of showing you but yeah, it's got little arms on it. It's just like a long dress. And I think that will end it all. I can't honestly remember. My bed's a mess behind me. I've just been laying on all these pillows. <laughs> I've just cleaned my bathroom. And, uh, yeah, what else have I been doing? I've gone to go get some shopping to make sure cupboards are a bit topped up. I've got the kids, like, loom bands, Nerf bullets, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, drawing stuff, craft stuff, just to do, because I am going to be going and having baby girl now before um, my next video <laughs> that you'll see, which I won't even know where it, where it is. Um, there won't be a food haul, because obviously I've already bought bits and stuff already. 
I'm just waiting now for a phone call really to say when to go in and stuff. I'm incredibly nervous. I keep crying. I think I just feel so bad on leaving the kids and stuff like that and I just hope that I'm not in there long and there it goes okay. I, I asked to be examined today um, because I thought I'd feel a lot better if they examine me and see that I'm favourable and that my cervix is open and that they can just break my waters but it's not, it's completely shut and it's long so they're going to put some rods in or something, I don't know <laughs> it's all a bit TMI but yeah, I'll be going in on my own seeing how I get on and then once the pain's proper start and things get going then I'm hoping Dave can come down because my sister and my mum and dad I think are going to help with the kids and obviously my older kids are there to help as well, they've said and just yeah just hopefully it'll go okay but i am incredibly nervous i'm excited to see her but i'm just scared of how she's gonna be coming out is it gonna be a c-section you know because i'm not favorable what if it just doesn't work out what if you know she starts to get distressed with what they're doing to me all these different things are running through my head and it was so strange today because when I went into the hospital for a trace, because I wanted me in for a trace today, the doctor that came to see me, because I, I had, they had to review me, okay, Jacob, <laughs> well, the doctor that was on the day I had Lucas, and as soon as, like, I described to her it were me and what had happened, she knew straight away, she remembered the other doctor's name and stuff, which were right, and she was like, yeah, I can't forget that. <laughs> um, and, yeah, um, she reassured me a lot, and stuff and she just said it don't matter if we do it in a couple of days or in another week all the risks are still the same and you know the sooner really for baby the better and that so I've just been up here trying to sort for a washing get a bit more prepared I've got blankets on top of my bed I don't know where I put them but yeah I just wanted to do a little video to catch up with because I know lots of you are asking what's going on and stuff you know have you gone in yet is baby here yet well she's not yet um but It'll probably be in the next couple of days. I don't know how long the induction process will take. You'd think I've got all these babies, but no, it doesn't really work like that. <laughs> um, it did like five, six, seven, um, eight. Mm, Josh were a C-section, so yeah, they started to get longer then. But um, yeah, just really nervous. Just wanted to catch up, let you know what's happening. I'm going to roll up them for how loud they are. They've been so quiet and as soon as I go onto my phone they all start making a load of noise. But yeah, I wanted to catch up with you, let you know how I am. I did do a lovely video <laughs> with some of these clips you've seen and it were a bit more of the... Well, no, I think that were the all I got from Primark actually. I just I thought I'd lost one of my clips but I think it were um, the, the Matalan stuff. I think I'm going to show you a couple of bits from that but I must have deleted it. But anyway, I'll leave it there. If I get a chance to show you my hospital bag stuff, which it's just inside me, I probably won't, to be honest, because it's just the same stuff that's in everybody else's videos. Don't see point in showing you it, but yeah, I thought I'd have more time to really prepare because I'm only 37 weeks, but I haven't. They want baby out, so yeah, right. I'll see you in hospital. I'm so nervous. I'm looking forward to my chilli tonight though. Dave's making us a chilli. My last chilli before she pops out. <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, I don't know whether I'll do the birth video or her name reveal first. I'm not sure. I'm itching to tell you because I know a lot of you are excited to know. And yeah, they asked me today at hospital what her name was and it was so strange saying it. But I think we are properly decided that that's her name. So... Plus I've had some at made now, it cost me 20 quid, so I can't go back on it. <laughs> but, um, right, I'll see you on the next one, guys. <laughs> Bye. Right, we're on bargains, we've started stocking a Spanish cleaning stuff. <laughs>